So welcome back to Young Blooms Flower School channel. Lovely to have you with, with me. I'm in my greenhouse as per usual doing some filming and um, this one is going to be slightly different. I am going to do a macrame plant hanger with a difference. Um, I've done some macrame on this channel before, did a chair back. I'll pop a, a link in so you can see those other tutorials. But I'm going to get cracking and I'll show you what it's all about. So I have six lengths of this cord uh, they are five, about 5.4 metres long and I have um, folded them in half and looped them through. Uh, you can just see the, uh, the bottom half, it's just an old bracelet, I'll take it off. So that's what I'm starting the uh, macrame on. I've got a separate piece of cord that I'm going to uh, use to start the top and it's very simple. All you do is keep one end uh, straight so the, the top is here, make a loop here and then start wrapping round. This just starts the whole whole thing off. It gives you a, an anchor if you know what I mean. So I'm not going to show you the whole of this design because that would make this video far too long. I'm going to do bits in time lapse but I think macrame is just something that I've learnt and taught myself through lockdown during the pandemic and it's also been a um, way for me to uh, create workshops so i'm doing a workshop for a hen party uh, in may and they're coming to learn how to make these plant hangers um, so it's been a useful useful technique to learn uh, right so i've done 10 twists and my loop here what i'm going to do is i've just finished wrapping it around I'm going to push this through okay and then all i'm doing this one here i'm pulling and you can see it's very clever. Disappears up and you simply chop both ends off. There we go. Done. And then chop this one off so you don't get confused. And you can start your macrame. So I found with macrame that I was watching videos back. I found a couple on YouTube and I was watching them back, watching them back, watching them back, um, just to get my head around it. I've amalgamated um, designs, a couple of designs, and made this my own. So now I think that's the beauty of macrame and that you can do that. So that's step one to get us started. So the first knot I'm going to do is a square knot and it's quite straightforward. So I've pulled out and separated four strands of this cord and it's simple. You keep the two in the middle. You don't do anything with them. So the left hand side, you create a loop. The right hand side, this one here, goes round the back and through that loop. And then you pull tight. And then you'll do the same on the opposite side. So right hand, you create a, a loop here. Left hand goes under, the, round the back and through. And you pull tight. So it kind of creates a square. I'll do it again. So left hand side loop right hand side round the back underneath and round the back pull through tighten and then right hand side loop left hand side underneath round the back and pull through the loop and then tighten So it creates kind of this boxy square-like knot. Um, if you need to watch back, do just watch back a couple of times. It took me a while to get my head around this one. So I'm just gonna carry on doing this now, but I'll put it on speed for you. Um, otherwise you'll get bored. So I'll see you in a bit. So I've created 11 boxes, essentially 11 squares. Um, and I can do that with uh, two other groups of four. Um, so there'll be three cords hanging down. I'm going to start uh, with my next one. Um, and again, I'll put it on time lapse so you don't get bored. And I will be back with you shortly. Okay, so the top part is now done. I've got three um, different sections like this. Those are, so these are the square knots. Um, worth going back to that video, just at the snippet just at the beginning to, to show you how to do it if you're not 
feeling uh, confident just keep re-watching that until you feel like you've got it nailed so three sections um, and now we will carry on and create a different design with these lower bits so let's get cracking okay so we're going to do half a square knot essentially carrying on down these strands so what you need is your four pieces like this and you are simply making a loop with your right hand cord passing the the left hand one underneath the back and through like so so and you are doing that on repeat ad infinitum and what happens is it starts curving round and will essentially create a spiral which is quite cool you can see it's going already so just pulling it up and tightening it as you go keep it nice and neat I'm going to lower the camera down so you can see a bit more but just of that little section you can see the um, the spirals happening so you should be able to see it better from this angle so you're always uh, with your right hand cord you're always making the loop here you can see pushing it the left hand cord round the back and through this loop so you're just repeating that regardless and even if it swings round which it will you're going to do right hand loop left hand round the back and through so this is a very um, make it up as you go along sort of uh, recipe and I kind of am judging it by eye as to how long and how um, many knots I'm doing and I think when you feel confident in the knots that's okay it's the beauty of the beauty of macrame I think so right that is one side done all the way up to the top I'll carry on with the other two that are undone and uh, come back to you in a bit. Okay, so now we have the, the top section done, um, we need to start joining uh, all of these bits together. Um, so, so I have my two sections here and I'm going down probably, I don't know, I'm not very good with measurements, what's that hand span, my hand span going down and I'm going to make a square knot here so I gathered two from either of these groups of four the two next door to each other simply going to do a square knot like we did at the top so left hand side goes over the top right hand side goes under round the back and through that loop I'm not pulling it tight up to the, up to the top here I'm just keeping it there okay and then I'm going to finish that square knot off so right hand side goes under left hand side goes sorry right hand side goes over the top makes that loop there left hand side goes round the back and through that loop and you have yourself a square knot and it joins so it joins those two you can see here it's joined them together all right so i'll turn it round and we'll do the same on the other side so the two left over from the square knot that we've just done we've got two spare and then two from this side so square knot again so uh, left hand side over right hand side round the back and then do the opposite and you create yourself a square knot and you want them roughly about the same height so there and there I'll turn it around again and then the last two I can do and that joins everything up there we go so you can see it's creating a nice kind of um, joined up pattern all right so next stage I think is to add in our slate so let's get doing let's get going okay so I have fitted the slate in um, but I've managed to um, attach I've done two square knots so in the back corner I've done two square knots and here I've just done two really simple knots to keep it in place. I now need an extra piece of yellow cord to tie the bottom like I did at the top. Oh, you can see just there like that. That's what I'm going to do around the bottom. So I'll do that now. So I've attached an extra piece of cord and wrapped it around uh, and like I did at the top, I showed you um, just to finish it off. And then I just chopped all the cords off to sort of a similar sort of length around here so that they'll dangle quite nicely. And then you can uh, you can put a pot on there, or I'm going to do an arrangement. So um, that will be the next stage. But it's a pretty cool little um, hanger. Um, I'm going to do dried flowers on this one because I think it'll look quite fun. 
that's the finished design i'm going to add dried flowers um, and i will show you pictures of that when it's done but it's it's just a, a nice idea um, something that you can show clients you know you can show customers you could create a workshop around this quite easily um, i think um, and it's yeah it's a technique that's worth learning so i hope you've enjoyed this as always and uh, look forward to seeing you next time